What is up, Booger Beans? Welcome back to another episode of Adventures with Boog. On this episode, we are going to be doing some more electrical stuff. There's supposed to be a whole bunch of stuff show up by Friday this week. And also, we are going to be finishing, well, not finishing, but tying up the loose ends that are in the front of the bus. Um, the amount of stuff up here that is just unfinished is, like, really frustrating me lately. Um, so I'm going to spend some time tonight and tomorrow night and try and clean this up and get it polished up and kind of put back to the way it needs to be so that we can either paint it or you know we'll probably paint it like white or something just to clean it up and even just give it a scrub and actually clean the steel and clean the plastic and all that kind of stuff so that's the plan for tonight and uh, we'll see what we get up to on the rest of of this episode so uh stay tuned the first modification on this piece um, this bottom portion or that actually has the heater in it had to be raised up for the height of the floor so it's raised about two inches and now this piece no longer fits because of this box on the back um, so what we're gonna go do is cut this all apart and put in um, or move this circley thing for the the duct will move this all and make it so we only have um, one outlet here instead of having two outlets and then we'll just weld in the other outlet and then it will hopefully fit in there I don't know if it's gonna fit in there but we're gonna try our best so yeah that's the plan guys now our original um, piece of steel that had two holes is down to one hole um, eventually we will be painting this entire piece of steel um, so that's why I just have the primer on that corner um, I don't know for sure what we're gonna do with this whole piece yet so I'm not gonna paint it all right now and make it look nice to uh, do it again a couple weeks down the road so that's what it uh, looks like now and we're gonna go and try it out in the bus Oh, bug of beans. It's in there. Um, is it amazing trim work? Nope. Is it a school bus? Yes. Um, so yeah, it's not super tight gaps and it's not super clean. Um, but when we paint it, we can clean it up a little bit. I think it'll look better when it's all one color and all the screws are all the same color and all that kind of stuff. But it's in there and this side is kind of all buttoned up. I need to maybe put a pop rivet or something down on this side to hold these two pieces together. Um, but there's just not much to screw to um, back there. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen there. But you can hear it's kind of like popping um, because it's not tight to anything. So um, I'll have to take a look at it and see what we can do later down the road. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Um, so tomorrow night I think we'll try and get the opposite side of the bus um, cleaned up and uh, then maybe we'll get the uh, driver's console control panel and all that stuff kind of finished up as well so that's the hope that's the dream if we get there I don't know but you'll you'll find out all right guys so we got that um, trim on the passenger side of the bus all put back in place yesterday and now we're gonna work to the driver's side and um, yeah, the driver's side's probably gonna be a pain in the butt, but let's do some work on it and see, uh, see what we can get finished. All right, Beans, so I got all this steel back in. Um, yeah, it's pretty ugly, <laughs> um, but again, the front of this portion is kind of a school bus, so 
there's really not a whole bunch we can do about it. Okay, um, we're gonna paint it so it will look a little bit better. It'll kind of clean it up and we're gonna wash it and scrub it down and all that kind of stuff. But we still need the functionality of these heaters. Um, there could be times where we're driving and it's minus 20 yeah. out. So we, <laughs> we have to have the heaters. Um, we could use the diesel heaters, but eh, I don't think that's really the best option while driving. No. Um, Plus, we've got them. Use them. Yeah, exactly. We got them. Use them. So might as well. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and finish a project I've been working on basically <laughs> since we bought the bus. Um, <laughs> within the first couple days. It's been a long time since I've not seen a giant mess of wires here. Yeah. Um, we took this apart basically right when we got the bus because yeah. some of the electronics weren't working. As soon as we had the floor out, this was done. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to start... I'm going to start by building some cardboard templates and then I'm going to cut those out of um, that quarter inch plywood and put it on there uh, with screws and then I'll probably come back with that um, wood, wood filler putty or bondo putty or something like that and fill in all the screw holes and then we'll paint it and hopefully it will look bomb.com. Finally, um, we've got some wood in there. Um, so yeah, this turned out pretty good actually. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, we've still got a couple little pieces that we got to clean up. We got to put in a piece here, but I don't have any framing there because I didn't know how it was going to line up and stuff. Um, so I need to build a little frame or I might even build this, um, this piece out of steel. So I don't have to put a weird, um, piece of wood here because I think I'm going to have issues with that. Um, just because it's awkward positioning so I might not do that and we got to put a piece on the back here um, but it looks pretty good um, these this portion here this little gap here we'll probably put a piece of corn around in there and then on the top portion we'll either put a piece of trim going across the top or we'll fill that in with um, putty or bondo or something like that and sand it all nice and smooth um, and then we'll right here we'll cut a hole for the control panel and then we'll have the radio sit right here and I'll probably put a cup holder or two in the top as well. Um, just, just mostly because it might be nice to have a, a cup holder when, when we're driving. Um, so yeah, yeah, it turned out pretty good. This took literally um, months to do. Um, one of the first things that we did in the bus was take this all apart. Um, so to finally have it put back together and looking a lot cleaner, it's actually really, really exciting. Um, all these front panels are basically put on. So. That's really nice, but that's about it for tonight. It's like a rainstorm out there. Um, and uh, we are headed off to Edmonton tomorrow to get steel. Um, we need steel because we're building a air ride suspension seat um, for the bench seat that's going up front here, as well as we need steel to build the sliding folding door. Um, we showed a video of that on our um, Instagram story, but I might just put it in the video right here so you guys can kind of see um, what I'm talking about and uh, yeah the build's going quite well and um, yeah we'll keep cranking away tomorrow so thanks for thanks for watching and uh, uh, go just go hit that subscribe button lots of you guys are not subscribed and we get all these great viewers and we absolutely love you guys we're just over 300 subscribers and we just want to keep building the family so go down hit that subscribe button click the bell and uh, we'll bring some more great stuff for you tomorrow all right, guys, so we got most of the console um, put in place last night. There's a couple things that I got to figure out in my head, so I'm just kind of putting a pause on it. Um, and our uh, a couple more electronic pieces um, came in the mail um, yesterday. So we got a 150 amp and a 50 amp um, circuit breaker for the 12 volt or 24 volt system. These are high voltage, um, high amperage breakers. Um, just in case we get a short circuit anywhere or something like that. And then we also got a um, like 20, maybe 12, I think it's a 12 um, spot um, fuse panel. And this is the 24 volt fuse panel um, for all the lighting. So for the, the like living room lights, these lights, as well as the lights in the back of the bus. And then we'll also be running um, some fans through here and our up lighting that's gonna go on the edge of the bus as well. We'll all be running through this fuse box. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna get these guys um, mounted on the wall, um, possibly wired in, but I don't know for sure yet. So that's what we're gonna do now. All right guys, so we got that 
fuse box, well, the, the wiring for the light switches into here. Um, just to comment on the size of these fuses, um, right now we have five amp fuses in there. Um, but since it's 24 volt lighting and the light bulbs we have are nine watt light bulbs, the largest pole we should ever see is like one and a half amps plus 10% for surge means maybe two amps max. Um, so I'm going to have to downsize, um, those three, um, lighting fuses. Um, so to get your, uh, um, what's it called? To get your amperage rating, you take your watts and you divide it by your voltage and that's how many amps you're going to see. So our watts are nine light or nine watts. The max we have is 45 watts on one run. Um, the voltage is 24 volts. Divide 45 by 24, you get like just under two, what, 1.75 or I don't know, something like that, just under two um, amps. So if we go to three amp fuses, um, they'll be able to run under normal operation, but if we ever get a short circuit um, situation or anything like that, the fuse will blow. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. It's nice and clean in there. Um, I'm gonna have to take these ground wires, tie them together, and then tie them into the uh, breaker box, um, just so that we have a common ground and all that stuff for the entire bus. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty good. And I'm just going to uh, now wire it up to the batteries, as well as wire in our um, converter, and then start wiring in the, um, the, the furnaces as well. So yeah, just plugging along here. Just wanted to update you guys on the fuse box there, and uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit. Morning, Booger Beans. So last night we got all of the uh, furnace wiring completed. Um, we test out the converter, I hooked it up to batteries, and we tried out the light switch, we got the fuse breaker working, we got all the fuses in, all that stuff. So that's doing going really, really well. Um, we are still waiting on our 4,000 watt inverter, as well as our um, automatic transfer switch. Um, the inverter should be here sometimes next week. The automatic transfer switch, I don't know. Um, they said they shipped it about a week ago. And uh, according to the tracking number, it hasn't gotten to the um, post office yet. So I don't know what's going to happen there. It is through Amazon, so I'm not super worried about it. I'm sure we can get something figured out. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at there. Um, today we are going to pull the furnaces back out after we've got them nicely <laughs> installed. And we're going to... Um, the bottom plate um, that goes... There's a hole that goes through the floor for the exhaust, the air intake, and the, the fuel supply, the, the fuel pump, all that kind of stuff. So what we need to do is take and um, put a steel sleeve that will go through the floor. We'll spray foam around that steel sleeve. And then we'll also put caulking um, on the floor as well as on the bottom to seal that all weather tight so we don't have any issues with rain coming up or water from the road coming up or um, diesel fumes or anything like that coming up into the bus. Um, so that's kind of the plan today. Um, I'm also hoping to uh, wrap up the console in the front of the bus. So um, it's a little chilly outside, so I'm going to work on the console to start and then we'll uh, move backwards into the bus and also got to do a whole bunch of cleanup in here because the bus is absolute mess. So we'll be doing that later on too. So yeah, let's let's just get cranking away on the on the console and uh, see where we get to. Okay, guys, so we got um, the radio ready to be installed. I got the um, cutouts for them and the uh, cutout for the control panel, um, but I'm gluing those in over there. So I'm just waiting for that glue to dry. Um, we've got the battery for the bus on the charger because we haven't started the bus in like three months, four months maybe. I don't know, probably like, haven't started in 2020, I don't think. Um, so that's been a long time. Um, and then, uh, yeah, now I'm going to um, work on putting the uh, steel shroud in for um, the furnaces. Um, I'm probably not going to film much of that just because it's like really awkward position to get into and not very much fun. But you might see some of the welding and that kind of stuff. So 
that's what I'm gonna do now. Check it out, Booger Beans. Our inverter showed up. So this is an absolutely beast of an inverter. It is a 4,000 watt continuous power, 8,000 watt peak um, inverter uh, that we got off Amazon. And uh, yeah, we're gonna install this guy in our mechanical room tonight, as well as, oh no, yeah, the, uh, the auto transfer switch hasn't showed up yet. So that will be the last um, thing to go into the mechanical room will be, or electrical thing to go in the mechanical room will be the automatic transfer switch, um, which should be showing up next week maybe, week and a half. And um, then basically all of our electrical is done and we'll be able to actually plug in the bus and use the power outlets that are in the bus. Um, so that will be really nice when we get to that point. As well as tonight, I'm hoping we can get the um, face of the uh, driver console all put together, get the radio installed, get all the switches installed, um, basically permanently, and uh, go from there. So, yeah, time to start chugging along. seems to uh, be good. It turns on, just press the power button there, and it turns on, displays the voltage that we're at, um, displays the output voltage, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is the lines that will be going um, to the uh, auto transfer switch that will be mounted just on the wall over there. So this guy will go up into it. Then we'll have the power coming from the shore. So this would be like coming from the RV park. Also going into the automatic transfer switch. And then one line will come out of the automatic transfer switch into the breaker box. And that line will be the line that actually supplies all of our plugins with 120 volt power. So when the um, bus is not hooked up to shore power, it'll be taking power from the inverter through the auto switch into the breaker box and then out to all of the plugins. And then when we do hook up the shore power, the automatic transfer switch will say, hey, we have power. It will switch from the inverter and go into um, the shore power instead. So yeah, it is quite big, um, but it does fit in there. And uh, we got more than enough space for the batteries and everything underneath. I know the battery cables are a mess, but the battery setup we have in here right now is not permanent at all. It's just basically so that we have lights on in, in here when we're working in the evenings. And um, yeah, so that's all good. Now we are gonna go back up front and try and get that console all put back together. And that's the plan, let's get to it. Okay, Booger Beans, so we got the control panel and the radio installed. Um, they look okay. It's nothing special. Uh, I'm gonna come back with some Bondo and clean up the edge and basically make this nice and firm in here um, with some fiberglass Bondo, as well as clean up and sand um, this control panel. And then we'll paint over everything and uh, clean it all up so it will look a little bit nicer. I still gotta build the panel for the end here as well as the panel um, for the corner way back in there. Um, but that's gonna be another night. Um, the inverter's installed and looks good, turns on. Um, I can't really test it until we get the automatic transfer switch. Um, I could do something temporary, but it seems like it turns on, has the right power and stuff, and uh, seems to be working fine. So not too worried about that. And uh, yeah. That's where we're at, and I think we're gonna call it this episode. Um, we have not yet reached 40 likes on the last episode, so I'm gonna give you guys a bone and say 
35 likes on this episode, and I'll uphold the waxing armpits on the next episode. So 35 likes, and Sydney will wax my armpits. Um, go down, smash the subscribe button, tickle the like button on this episode, and um, share this video along uh, along your social media channels. We are growing. Um, we just broke 300 subscribers, so we really um, appreciate that um, from you guys. But we really want to reach that 500 by the end of June, um, which is not impossible based on how we're growing right now. It, it looks like that's definitely possible. Um, but uh, we need your guys' help. So share this as much as you can. And uh, yeah, we'll have more good stuff coming your way very shortly. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a great night. Okay, try to be brave. You have so much to